Welcome to another episode of the Wooden Spoon Cooking Show, and today we are going to make steak and cheese subs. Steak and cheese subs, one of my favorite things to eat ever. Um, so let's just get to it, I guess. What do we got? Okay, here? so first you're gonna make your marinade, okay? So it's extra virgin olive oil, garlic, parsley, salt, pepper, and oregano. And then we have about 20 slices of top round meat. You can get it when it's on sale. You can use any kind of meat that you like. I just like the top round and I get it when it's on sale. And then you're just gonna marinate it all. And it doesn't have to marinate for like an hour or whatever, just a little bit, just to get the flavors all together. Let me zoom in. Okay, so now we marinated all the meat, both sides, so you can see the parsley and the garlic's on in there. We heated up our pan, got that nice sizzle. Put a couple pieces, you don't want to crowd it, because you don't want to boil the meat. Keep moving it so it doesn't stick. You could do this on the grill also in the summertime. You just like, Throw it on the grill, flip it over, and it's done. Nice and quick. How much time each side? I don't know, a couple minutes. You'll see it turn color, then you'll flip it over. Make sure it doesn't get folded up there. Ah, it smells good. Why don't we cut up the steak like how they do it in like Philly? Because we live in New York. That's a Philly cheesesteak, that's no, different. How is it different? We put cheese on this, it's not like whiz. Because they do, that's just disgusting. This is how we do it. It's how we do it. It's because, why are you gonna ask questions? Uh, we you should ready? try to make whiz. Are you gonna eat it? We should try to make whiz. Go in the bathroom and go whiz. <laughs> go make some whiz. Where's the best cheese? Where's the best steak and cheese sub? Here in our house. Where's the best steak and cheese sub outside the house? I don't know. You eat more. Let shout us know. Out, shout out to Viola's. Viola's is Niagara good. Niagara Falls. Where else? Viola's near poses is good. Jim's Steakout is classic. What about near you? Where's the best steak and cheese? Good Make question. it at home, it's better. You know everything that's going in it. It's not the healthiest food, but once in a while. Good enough, pizza. Ew. Steak and cheese pizza. We'll do that later. We'll show them later. That's my kid's favorite. Okay, everybody. Um, meat's all cooked, so we're gonna take it and put it on a sub roll. As much or as little as you want. You like a lot as of much. meat. Hmm? I said as much. As much. So we're, Nico's hungry. We're gonna give him three pieces? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Now we just have regular American cheese. You can put whatever kind of cheese you want on it. But at least two slices, cause you know. Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the oven under the broiler. For how long? Till it melts. Till it melts. <laughs> you gotta watch it so you don't want the roll to burn. Okay, so that's when you know it's done. You got your roll nice and toasted, your cheese nice and melted. Now, this is the key to a good steak and cheese sub. Plum, these are tomatoes on the vine. I sliced them, olive oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper, oregano, okay? You take those and put them on top, okay? Is that good? Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna take your lettuce, Top. 
A little too much. It's way too much. Okay. Now, this is your seasonings you get at the sub shop, okay? Olive oil, drizzle it, okay? No. Salt. Pepper. Last ingredient, your oregano. Okay, now you got all those flavors. The meat was marinated. The tomatoes were dressed and you put that extra bit on top. And there you go. You got your homemade steak and cheese sub. Food review time. What is that noise? Mm. Go. Mm. Mm. Good? Mm. Perfect. I Good cook, job. but I can't eat it because I'm on a diet. Yeah. Right, this it smells thing. so good. Are you happy? 9.5, I think. This is delicious. 9.5, that's all I get. Alright. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Comment what you thought, comment what you want to see us cook next, and ciao! Ciao!